In this demonstration, I'll walk you through the process of deploying the package that was created with Package Manager, assuming you have access and ability to do so. If you do, you simply roll over platform, choose Package Manager, and you'll then see a button that gives you the option to deploy. Click the button, choose Upload, and locate the file that was made available to you. Click Open, and you'll see that a variety of things are about to be created, including the original data extension or the final data extension where the data will come into, the data extract, as well as the two file transfers that will take that data and move it from the safe house to the SFTP and then extract it on the SFTP. You'll also see an import and then an automation that ties it all together. If you click Next, you simply have two more steps to step through. Um, so select the enhanced FTP for both the source and the destination, choose deploy, give it just a moment and it will give you an indication that it has completed. Click done and now you can go out and look at the automation. I'm going to go ahead and just open it here and show that there are annotations for several of the steps that show or tell the story. So the first thing that happens is that information is being extracted. You could modify that extract here to change the rolling range if desired, or if you had other parameters that you wanted to adjust, you could do that here as well. Next is the uh, file transfer that will take that extract and move it from the safe house to the SFTP. There's one additional tra file transfer that will unzip that file to create the opens.csv file that is needed for the final import. And that final import, you're going to want to make one quick tweak inside. So click Edit, choose the address that you want notifications to go to, click Next several times, Save, Activity, similarly add a notification address, And you can add a notation if you would like as well. Hit save, run once, select all the activities, and then they'll begin to run. So while that's running, I'm just going to step you out and show you that inside Contact Builder, a data extension has been created, including a folder um, for the extracted opens. And when you open it, you'll see that it has all the necessary fields, as well as primary keys, um, nullable versus non, field lengths, etc. Let's go back and check the status of that automation. And we'll just open it up to... And there it is, it has completed. So let's go out and look at the output inside that data extension. And what you'll find there is that there are 23 records, not a lot in this demonstration account. Um, but what you will find within is that it's going to give you the email client. So in this case, it has Apple Mail opened on a Mac. Um, there have been others, iPhone. Um, you also want to look for iPad. So Apple Mail, iPad, iPhone, those are all going to be key to knowing where the message was received. And you can aggregate this information in the system of your choice, including querying inside the Marketing Club. Hope this video is helpful.